News Nation, Jenna Browder. Thanks so much, Jenna, for being with us. What did you think of, um, of that show last night? And do you think the ratings are going to be as high as they were the first time? Good morning. You know, I think they might be. I mean, so many people heard about that first week, whether they watched it or not, and they wanted to check out what the hype was all about. You know, I thought it was pretty funny. I think the writing on this show is pretty good, and they are certainly striking a chord with so many Americans, talking about issues that a lot of blue-collar, working-class people are talking about. Yeah, it turns out a lot of their writing staff is liberal. The way they shoot it is a liberal place. We don't really know where Azan stands. Does that matter, or is this all about money and success? You know, I don't know if it's about money and success, but they certainly have the recipe for uh, reaching that blue-collar, working-class voter. You know, I think they've kind of tapped into something that President Trump tapped into back in 2016, and that is uh, not being politically correct. We saw that there in that last clip that you were all showing. And, mm -hmm. and Roseanne is very similar, I think, to President Trump in certain ways, which explains part of her appeal uh, in that she's not PC. She doesn't, uh, she's law and order. And, you know, like President Trump, if you hit her, she's going to hit you back twice as hard. So I think that the producers of, of that show have tapped into something that President Trump tapped into, and it's working out pretty well for them. Well, certainly a cultural critique, and one of the things they critiqued on last night's show was politically correct parenting. Listen. People parent differently than they did in your day. Turns out a lot of what you did did not work, and some of it was against the law. <laughs> Yeah, it's against the law because your generation made everything so PC. Instead of spanking them, you tell them to go over there and think about what they did wrong. You know what they're thinking? I can't believe this loser isn't spanking me. You know, to your point, I think they're speaking for a lot of people who feel like they're in a box when it comes to the way they parent today. Yeah, there's certainly a kind of liberal way to approach it, it right. does seem. But uh, Roseanne, she's, she's not for that. She's not about the talking it out. She's kind of that tough love kind of grandma in this show. Right. And I think a lot of people relate to that. Uh, they're, like you said, they're, they're not politically correct. And Roseanne is not politically correct. And, and they relate to her on that level and so many others. And Jenna, we're going to have to find out if you relate to Ainsley well because you actually interviewed Ainsley. Am I correct? Jenna, thank you so much. I watched I the interview on the 700 Club. You did a beautiful job. And I'll have to post it. Oh. My social media, so that um, the folks at home can watch it. Thank you for promoting my faith, talking about my faith, and my new book coming out. I appreciate oh, it. Thank you so much. You guys all do a great job. So do you, honey. Thank you. Great to work with you. Thank you. Great to work with you too. God bless you. You guys like each other. I like her a lot.